I mean, I hear that all the time. And it makes me want to bang my head against a wall or against the Bible going, why don't you just read and use some reason? Look at Leviticus 24, verse 17. I mean, I already brought up the fact that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, if the law is only for Israel, it didn't do them very much good. Verse 17, And he that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. And he that killeth a beast shall make it good, beast for beast. And if a man cause a blemish in his neighbor, as he hath done, so shall it be done to him, breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. As he hath caused a blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. And he that killeth a beast, he shall restore it. And he that killeth a man, he shall be put to death. Look at verse 22. So these are all things that are just power of the law that just make sense and that that's God's judgment on them. And this is this all righteous judgments for all of these things. Look at verse 22, though. You shall have one manner of law, as well for the stranger as for one of your own country, for I am the Lord your God. Is God putting a difference between different peoples? Well, you're an Israelite, so this is going to be your law, but you're a Moabite that came here, so you're going to have your own different law because this was only for Israel. I mean, don't you understand? This is only for Israel. Why was there only one law for the people of Israel when there's strangers there or born in the land? That didn't matter to God. Hey, there's one manner of law. Why would someone who joined themselves on Israel be under that law? Let's say someone moves from another country. Well, that's only for Israel. No, there's one manner of law. It wasn't a good law for them when they lived somewhere else? Oh, yeah, that law was no good for you when you lived there, but now you're moving here, so now it's a good law for you. And I'm talking about in God's eyes, right? Obviously, when you move, you could be under different jurisdictions of who's making the laws and, and who's enforcing laws. But we're talking about right and wrong here because that's what the law does. That's what the law does. The law, I mean, the law is the one that tells you what lust is. How should I have known? Except the law said, thou shalt not covet. It tells you what's right and wrong. The law tells you covetousness is wrong. The law tells you these things are wrong because that's what the law does. There's one law that should be for everybody. God's law applies everywhere. That's why God cast out the people from before the children of Israel. Because they did the things that he said were wrong in his law. He judged them on his law, even though they weren't Israelites. God judges the world on his law, regardless of what nation you're of. And I'll tell you what, if America wants to keep promoting sodomy and keep embracing it and saying it's okay, then the United States of America is going to fall under God's law and judgment and be burned up just like Sodom and Gomorrah was. But those laws, God, those laws were only for Israel. Oh. It's right and wrong, established by the Lord. And he doesn't need to repeat himself in the New Testament just to say, yep, I still mean that. Yep, I still mean that. Yep, I still mean that. Yep, I still... We don't need a repeat of the Old Testament in the New. If you don't see a change in the New, the Old sticks. I mean, that's what Jesus said. I didn't come to destroy the law. I came to fulfill. We know what he's fulfilled. It's clearly identified and, and written down. Everything else still stands. Just for Israel. Give me that garbage.